Hello, in this video, I'll show you how to do high-end screen retouching in about 10 minutes. And in case you have to download the raw image, follow along with this very video. Simply check the link in the video description to download the raw image. So, you're going to be learning frequency separation from the start to the very end. And you can see before and after that, you're going to be achieving by the end of this very video. So, I'll just come and simply delete this so that you can understand the in-depth process of screen retouching using frequency separation. So, just come to the background image right here and create two layers by pressing ctrl j or you can use command j or you can as well drag on the new layer icon to create two copies from the background image double click double click on that layer you can rename that to color and double click on this top layer name that to texture so for the color layer we want to remain with the colors and for the texture layer we want to remain with the texture so just come to the color layer select it turn off the texture layer simply come to filter come to black, come to Gaussian blur, take the reduce slider all the way to the minimum which is 0 0.1 and click on an area on the skin that seems to have more skin textures. So the point here is you have to stop at that point whereby you are just starting to lose out on the skin textures in that given area. So click and drag up just like that. Move up until when the textures are just starting to disappear from this very photo. So about 7, that is when my skin details I just start to disappear i'll just come and click ok come and select the texture layer turn it on then come to image and you're going to come to apply image it is going to open up this apply image window the source is basically the name of the photo that we're editing right now layer select color layer channel se select rgb blending we're going to be using add because this is a 16-bit image or past 100 percent scale is to offset zero and turn on a invert option so in case you have 8 here, it means your image is going to be 8-bit and the settings are going to be slightly different. So after selecting for an 8-bit image, after selecting the color layer, channel RGB, make sure invert is not turned on and under blending select subtract, the scale is to offset 128 and you see the textures on this gray kind of layer. So for our case, we have a 16-bit image. So we shall revert the settings to 16-bit settings and click OK. Come to the blend mode and change it from normal and change it all the way down to linear light. Select both layers right here by pressing control or you can use command. Then drag them and put them into a group and you can rename the group to frequency separation. After doing this, the next step is going to be to work on the skin color to blend them using the mixer brush tool. So click on the drop down arrow on the group to open it up and select the color layer. And simply come and turn off the texture layer. The reason for turning off the texture layer is because we want to work on the colors in the skin tone without having any kind of distraction from the textures in the image. So we have turned off the texture layer. Then we're going to come to the brushes and select the Mesa Brush tool. In case you can't locate the Mesa Brush tool under the brushes, you can locate the Mesa Brush tool down here. So for our case, we have selected the Mesa Brush tool and for the settings of every tool that you select in Photoshop, the settings are always going to display above here. So for the settings of the Mr. Brush tool, make sure click on the drop down arrow, hardness set to zero, soft round brush is selected, and make sure clean brush is selected. And this second option that is clean brush after each stroke is selected, you're going to be using the weight of 9%, load 75%, mix is 90%, flow is 100%, and make sure sample alias is not turned on or is not checked and after doing that we just want to start blending the colors on the skin so the trick here is don't zoom all the way in like this just make sure you retouch at a distance and to increase or reduce on the size of the mixer brush tool we can use the open and close square bracket keys on the keyboard to reduce or increase on the size of the mixer brush tool how are we going to apply the mixer brush tool you simply make sure it is sizable enough or the size is good enough to blend a given color so we basically want to blend the mid-tones alone the highlights alone and the shadows alone so how, how how are we going to blend simply click and hold down and you drag the brush just like that click and hold down and you drag the brush and after blending a given area release the left click button or stop clicking and click once again on a new color to blend that brand new color in a given area so like I said, we are mixing the mid-tones alone in the highlights alone and the shadows alone. So just do that. So every time you're going to work on a new color, make sure you click once again 
and you blend that color. So where these colors are tra transitioning from one color to another, you are basically going to get a very small brush and you try to blend that color like that to create a nice and seamless transition. So you have to always follow the shape of a given area. You can see this area is moving in this direction. That is how I also have to move the brush tool or the mixer brush tool. And the other thing, in case the mixer brush tool is showing a plus icon, make sure you deactivate the caps lock key on the keyboard to get the default shape of the mixer brush tool. So you can see I'm following the shape of the model's face so that I can keep and maintain the original shape of the model's face in this case. So move the mixer brush tool accordingly depending on the shape of a given area that you're trying to work on. So I'll do this for the rest of the areas that have or contain skin tones or skin color all over the image. So for the nose area, just get a very small brush and you blend the dark area of the nose like that and as well blend this other side of the nose like that. So you can see what we have. And for the highlight, just get a very small brush and you blend the highlight of the nose. And this is going to keep the original shape of the model's nose. So you can see what we have right now. So you have to do this for the rest of the areas that have skin in the image that you're trying to edit. So I'm just going to quickly retouch right here on the chest and the neck area. So take your time as you're doing this. And the more you practice, the better you're going to be at retouching your images. So right now we are almost done with this. And you can see when you turn on the texture, layer, you can see the before, after, before, after. Right now we have blended the skin colors and right now we just want perfect the textures remember frequent separation deals with perfecting the colors alone and as well perfecting the textures also within the image so how are we going to perfect the textures in this very image come and select the texture layer and make sure it is turned on or activated come and get the clone sample tool and make sure for the settings the hardness is set to zero soft round brush is selected the mode is set to normal, opacity is 100%, flow is 100%, align this check and make sure the sample is set to current layer because we want to remove blemishes that are part of the currently selected layer in our frequency separation group. So how, to, how do we remove the pimples? We are going to zoom in by using Ctrl plus on the keyboard or you can use Command plus on the keyboard to zoom in. So to remove a pimple, make sure that the size of the clone stamp tool is slightly bigger than the people or the blemish that you want to remove. So hold on the option key on the keyboard. That is for people using Mac. For Windows, it is the alternate key on the keyboard. So option and click on a clean area near the pimple. Release the option key on the keyboard and simply click over the pimple or the blemish to cover it or to eliminate it. So you have to keep on holding down the option key on the keyboard to sample clean areas near the pimple and pasting the clean area over the pimple in a given area to cover it. So you have to do that for the rest of the pimples or the blemishes all over the image. So make sure you take your time as you're trying to remove all these pimples and blemishes from the subject's body or from the subject's skin. So this is what I have to do for the rest of the pimples all over the image. So I'm just going to sample and remove all these pimples from the image. So you have to zoom in. Keep on zooming in and out so that you can see or identify the location or where these pimples and blemishes are located so that you can try to eliminate them. Remember, frequency separation deals with perfecting both the colors and the textures. So for this step, we are trying to perfect the textures after perfecting the colors. So this is more of step number two for frequency separation. So I'm just going to slightly zoom out and I identify the pimple location and I'll try to eliminate all these pimples and blemishes all over this very image. So you can see what we have right now. So take your time as you're trying to clear away or remove all these pimples and skin imperfections regarding the blemishes. So you can see what we have right now. Let's see a before and after for the skin retouching. This is the image before, after, before, after. We have retouched the skin of the subject while, while retaining the initial or original skin details. So you can as well go ahead and do a little bit of eye whitening. So just come, adjustments, come and create a hue and saturation adjustment layer. Make sure master is selected, come to saturation, 
take the saturation all the way down to around negative 76. Then press Command I on the keyboard, or you can use Control I on the keyboard to invert the effect. Then simply come and get the brush tool, and for the settings, make sure soft round brush is selected, hardness set to zero, mode is normal, opacity at 100 percent, flow at 100 percent. Make sure you have black and white on these two color swatches. In case you don't have black and white, simply press D on the keyboard or click on the tiny swatches. So make sure white is the top color. You can switch between black and white by using this arrow key on the keyboard. So with white as the top color and the brush tool selected, simply come and start painting over the eyes of the subject. So you have to paint on what is meant to be white in the model's eye, just like that. And this is going to whiten the eyes of the subject. And you can do the same for the teeth whitening. So you can see what we have right now. And in case the effect is too much, come and reduce on the opacity of that layer. So you can say before, after, before, after. So this is how you can simply understand how to do skin retouching when it comes to Photoshop in about 10 minutes. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like the video. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I will see you in yet more videos on this channel. Don't forget to keep practicing. And as well, keep creating.